All right, I want to talk about eight ideas when it comes to the martial arts. And um, these ideas or feelings or thoughts that you can have when you're fighting. Uh, so the first idea is like testing. So you start moving towards somebody with some kind of a, an attack or a, a, at least some kind of a testing movement or some kind of a, an attack. I don't want to call it a fake because it's not fake. But you start moving toward them with some kind of an attack and um, they're going to tell you something. So when they tell you something, then you will have found out something. If they don't tell you anything, then you just proceed with your attack and be done with it. Um, if they respond to it, then you respond to their response. Okay, so that's one. Um, number two is actually giving out energy or carrying out your attack. So if, if, if the first word or thought that you use is to, you know, move towards this attack and they do nothing, then you can go ahead and, you know, spend your force. You know, when a bomb goes off, the, the, the force is, <laughs> is given. So you give out your force. Okay. Um, number three is kind of responding in a more passive way. So, if, if somebody um, responds with an attack, then you can respond in a more passive way to just save yourself. Maybe get into a, a little bit different, better position, but you're really not so much attacking them back. What should be number four? Number four is you're kind of stealing their timing. You know, they're about to hit you and you hit them first, uh, violently and maybe on the inside. We talk about, uh, we talk about uh, you know, inside the arms and outside the arms, inside gate, outside gate. So maybe more here on the inside, uh, which is a more scary and, um, Some more scary type of attack. A little bit more daring, I would say. Okay, uh, number five. Um, so maybe when they attack you, see these, these thoughts, the way they're ordered should lead to the next one, but also be defeated by the next one. So the next one should give you the response that the first one, how you respond to the one before it. Um, and they're also usually in um, uh, yin-yang format. So you've got kind of a, the yin and then the, the yang. But anyway, well, you know. Um, so the next one is um, somebody's attacking you and you could kind of go with the attack and you could lift it up and then you could bring it down. And when you bring it down, they're going to be off balance, which is very important. We'll come back to that. Um, but anyway, you're kind of uh, deflecting and pulling down. So maybe in uh, thought number three, we're kind of saving in a passive way. We might be getting in a different, better position but we're not really um, so much getting them off balance and such necessarily. So this is more um, deflecting and pulling down, which pulls them off balance, which, you know, that's another topic all its own. Um, and then the response to that, number six, is 
if someone is trying to deflect and pull you down and pull you off balance like that, then basically what you need to do is you need to drop your weight and maybe get your hands on top of something and put the, the, the force from your body dropping down into your arms. So we're not pushing down with our arms, but we're dropping with the, the full weight of our body. Number seven is a little bit difficult for me to talk about. Number seven is like being super aggressive, like you're trying to make them commit a mistake. You're trying to make them freak out. Um, so you're moving toward them aggressively, but you're also moving toward them aggressively in such a way is they feel like they have no um, possible uh, counterattack towards you. Um, yeah. So number eight, which would also be the next one, and it would also be the response to the one before, is that you contact and give in. And there's the idea of this one that if they're, you know, coming at you with some kind of force and, you know, trapping physically or trapping remotely, you're going to kind of swallow that force and suck it all in. Now, that, that doesn't mean that you would get, remove yourself and get all the way out. The problem with getting all the way out is then now you've lost contact, now you've got to get back in. Because the secret of combat is um, you have to be close enough to actually strike your opponent. Now if you get out of range where they can't strike you, that's awesome, but it also means that you can't strike them either, depending on what your weaponry is. So you can't get so far back out that you can't strike them back. Uh, you can, but if you do, then you've lost your opportunity to get to start over. And that would not be um, number eight. Because you've got you've to suck in that aggressiveness that they're pushing towards you, but you've got to suck it in in such a way as it, that you could give it back whenever possible. Uh, number nine, I've heard people talk about. I've heard other people talk about this concept of, um, it's kind of like, um, you're just waiting and waiting sounds, waiting sounds wrong, but it's really not wrong is, you know, you've got kind of your finger on the, on the pulse. I'm, I'm talking about in theory here is it, you know, it's, I'm trying to extrapolate on such a high level as possible, but, um, You've got your finger on the pulse of what, of what is happening, but you haven't done anything yet because you're listening and waiting and seeing what your opportunity is. Um, so yeah, you're just, you're just kind of like, okay, I'm going to do something. I'm monitoring the situation. I'm going to see what happened. It's like, oh, they just did this. Well, that gives me this. They're going to give you the signal that will tell you what you need to do. But you need to wait and listen for it. Instead of just jumping in like some kind of blind tiger, ah, oh, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this and this. Okay, well, that's cool, but you know, I mean, you're not even paying attention to what, you know, the opportunities are. You're just like blindly flying in there doing a bunch of uh, a flurry of attacks. So instead you want to wait just a second, monitor the situation, say, okay, what, to, what you know, what's, what are they giving me? What energy is it? You know, I mean, if, if somebody does some kind of a, you know, if you're doing some kind of a, I don't know, let's just say Wen Chong, you know, if you're here and the contact goes away, you're like, oh, well, I go forward. And then if, if you're here and they push you over this way, then you, you're going to turn, you know, you're going you're gonna to get something. So in other words, you know, you're waiting, you're, you're feeling, you know, in this context, not always, I don't ever say always, but in theory, you know, it's, you're monitoring what the, 
what they're doing and they're, you're waiting for them to tell you where they want you to hit them. <laughs> this is what's going on. You know, because you touch hands and they go, they push you this way and you're like, oh, you want me to hit you over here? And, and then they push you this way and you're like, oh, you want me to hit you like that? And I'm not doing necessarily Wing Chun now, I'm just saying, you know, in that contact moment, you know, you're, you're listening, you're waiting, and now you'll figure out um, how to attack them because they will tell you. Okay, so you're monitoring. Um, okay, so that was, that was number nine. So, yeah, those are some of the most important words or thoughts or feelings, intentions, uh, in the theoretical martial arts to um, to think about things. And this seems like a very high level dis um, discussion, but it's actually very low level because, you know, um, right now we're just trying to understand these different intentions or thoughts or whatever. And then later it becomes actually even more higher level and higher level. So this is, this is actually the low level. Um, anyway, um, give me your comments on that below if you want. Um, if not, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to argue too much, be, you know, you know, cause at a certain point it's, um, it just becomes ridiculous with some people, but you know, if you, if you're smart and you're intelligent and you're trying to figure something out and the, 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 it seems valuable, then we might connect or you might connect with somebody else. So go ahead and go ahead and comment anyway, because, um, it's going to happen. Um, it's just in certain cases, it's just like, all right, whatever, you know, go away. Um, and, and that's, eh, I won't talk about that. <laughs>